WWDC is just a few days away. This is like the Super Bowl for Apple. I am real excited about it. And we haven't heard much about what the hell is gonna go on. It's, they're saying it's a software event and they're saying there's gonna be no product launches. I think could be bullshit because we've seen in the past 2013 that they launched the Mac Pro as well as 2012 they launched some MacBook Pros too. So this is not always an exclusive software event. But today I wanna to focus on the MacBook Pro. I'm gonna get one of these and let's talk about what it's rumored to have. Obviously it's gonna have a thinner and lighter design and, and now they're talking about the top function bar on your keyboard is gonna have an OLED panel, which is pretty cool because maybe you'll hold down shift or something and then that'll change the functions and give you a whole new world of different shit you can do with your computer. They're also saying Touch ID may be included on the new MacBook. Now how is that gonna work? You'll put your finger up to it and that's how you're gonna be able to unlock your MacBook rather than going through the hassle of having to type in your password, bam, you're on. You can also use it for purchases and any other things that may integrate this shit down the road. Now we see some leaks of what could potentially be coming our way with a new MacBook Pro. Another item is the keyboard. This keyboard is the same keyboard that they're using in the current MacBook, which it's getting a lot of heat. Some people say it ain't great. I've never tried it myself, but I think it looks a lot better, that's for sure. Also, according to leaks that we're seeing, it's gonna have four USB-C ports. So what does this mean now? Yes, this is a pro laptop. Yes, you're gonna have to have fucking dongles with it. So you're gonna have to have USB-C to HDMI, you know, USB-C to whatever else the hell you gotta use. I got a Thunderbolt 2 RAID system that I'll probably be plugging into mine, so I'm gonna have to have Thunderbolt 2 to USB-C. So, dongle heaven it is. We also seen from the shots, it's gonna have a bigger trackpad, which I think really looks nice. It's obviously the same as the MacBook. And obviously, it's gonna have speed bumps, the fucking faster Skylake processor, uh, better GPUs that are gonna be faster, AMD is rumored to have the GPU, but we'll see what happens when it's released. Also, the hinge manufacturer, Jarltech, has been shipping hinges to Apple since May. So, that's good news now. We're seeing the hinges, uh, allegedly leaked pictures of the MacBook, and all these news reporting companies saying, oh, we're not gonna see that WWDC. Let's see what happens. It's only a few days away. I'm excited for it. This is one of my favorite events. We haven't heard much anything about the software side either because the only thing I've heard about was Siri on Mac and iTunes getting revamped on their phone and OS X. So I think Apple's secrecy is getting a lot stronger. I don't think any of these news sources know what the fuck they're talking about anymore and they're not saying anything that like, okay we have a whole event WWDC, the, it's, the event is usually two hours and I haven't really heard anything that they're gonna talk about. You know, there's all speculation. So I, Apple has definitely doubled down on their secrecy. Again, the event takes place on Monday, June 13th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, noon Central Standard Time. Apple will be live streaming this, so definitely tune in, go to their website, apple.com. The link will be there. I'm very excited for it. Watch this whole thing unfold and let's hope we see some new fucking MacBooks because it's been a long time. I've been waiting a year and a half for the Skylake MacBook Pro. Don't forget the Pro. And it is time. Bring this shit to light. I'm obviously gonna buy a MacBook Pro when it comes out, the Skylake. I'm real excited for it. I'm gonna review it on my show here and show you everything that there is about it. Really looking forward to it. Check you fucking later.